Monica! Bobby! Veronica! Bobby. Oh my god, you're okay. Let me look at you, let me look at you. Let me go. Let's get the fuck out of here, come on. Gentlemen, we gather here today as our brothers did in 1701 to put an end to evil. God, please help me. Hey, you're one of us now. Hear our plea for the demons that dwell within this tainted woman be burned from her flesh. For the sake of the brotherhood. That was a scene from the unfinished 1987 film, The Devil's Fire, directed by Norman Von Ness. Now, please welcome to the stage his son, Mr. Peter Von Ness. Thanks, Kyle. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the Norman Von Ness Film Festival. Uh, as you already know, my name is Peter Von Ness. Uh, I am the son of Norman Von Ness, and I'm also uh, the person who started this festival. And as you all know, um, the reason I decided to uh, have this festival here is because it is the uh, site of his unfinished and last film, The Devil's Fire, which we just saw a clip from. Um, but it's also, as many of you do know as well, is... Uh, the site of his untimely passing, as well as the cast and crew of the film, which included the actress Carly Skye, who you saw on the screen. 
but it is a real pleasure to have all you talented people here. <laughs> uh, I know you've all been working really hard, uh, countless hours in the upcoming weeks on um, working on scripts, uh, working on lines, uh, trying to get these short films all ready for this time. Um, I just, my dad would have been really proud to know all to know this. I just wanted you guys to know that. He also would have noticed there is a $25,000 prize, so you guys are working for something, right? <laughs> Um, with this festival, uh, we here are trying to have Norman Von Ness pass the torch to the younger generation of actors, directors, writers, and creators of horror. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um... Kyle, you wanna take this over? Yeah, great. Okay, great. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Vincent is definitely going to check that out. But first of all, congratulations on making the cut. The competition was stiff, but Peter hand selected all of you because of your true passion and commitment. You will be provided with everything you need until the bus picks us up in three weeks. Each team will be able to cast any of the actors we've invited. In order to qualify for the prize, you need to hand in your finished film 48 hours before our closing ceremony, where we will be screening the winning film. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 on that note, uh, I want everyone to um, come meet us at the bar. Mingle a little bit, get to know everybody you'll be working with for the next few weeks. Don't be a part of your own horror story. <laughs> <laughs> Great, OK, I'll see everyone there. Bye. Peter, everyone, Peter. It's a great reception, Peter. Yeah. Open bar is a nice touch, too. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed it. This is your first horror film? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, Anne. Oh, hey. Hey, Anne. How are hey, you? Hey, Peter. Hi, I'm good. I'm good. Good. This is Chad. Uh, he just went to Sundance, and I oh. thought you guys should meet. This is Anne. She's a filmmaker, too. Um, yeah, you guys should sit down and talk. Okay. Uh, Hi, Peter. Hi. Thanks, Peter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I love doing slashers, but I feel like I'm always cast as the final girl. I'm sorry, what? The, what? the final girl. The last girl standing, barely alive, covered in blood. It's so annoying. I didn't even know there was a type. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Are you frustrated getting cast by type? Uh, honestly, I, I haven't really booked anything this year. So that sounds like a nice problem to have. Well, to the future, man. To the future. Shall we see our friends? Anyone actually know where the fuck we are? <laughs> yeah, four-hour bus ride to nowhere. <laughs> hey, uh, Ryan, does anyone know the history of this place? You mean all the people that were killed here in the 1700s? Yeah, I've done my research. Maybe they deserve it. Guys, women accused of being witches were burned here. Yeah, I know. Of course you do. Hi, can I have a Jack and Coke, please? Peter. Hey. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. How you been? Good. That's great. So you really knew Carly Sky? Um, a little bit. She, she like used to babysit me when I was a kid. A little bit. So I don't really remember her too much, but I remember her like around the house. But yeah. What was she like? A little bit like you, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Uh, is it okay if I snap a picture really quick? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Simon. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Um, uh, yeah, I should head out because I gotta keep talking to people. But, uh, because I've seen you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk later, okay? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Are you filming me? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> For what? Are you documenting the festival? Oh, no, 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 no,
It's like, I, I just like to sort of always be recording. You know, like you never know what you're gonna get. So you're into Veritas? Oh my God, yes, I love that stuff. <laughs> but this isn't that, this is more like, um, it's like, it's like they say between projects, you never see Jarmish without a camera on him, you know? Or a guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you're into Jim Jarmish? Oh my God, he's like my idol. <laughs> I'm Simon, by the way. Oh, Rosemary. Rosemary. Um, so, are you a filmmaker or? I'm an actress. Simon, Simon, Simon. Still trying to woo the ladies with your knowledge of independent filmmakers, uh -huh. huh? Oh, that's <laughs> cute, Dude, isn't it? Stop. Oh, so, listen, I'm going to show you the script that I wrote. It's, it's, am I interrupting something, little bro? Um, no, we were just um, talking. Hi, I'm Trevor. Rosemary. And I'm Felix. Hey. <laughs> uh, let's have some shots. Shots. Uh, shots. Not for me, but I'll see you guys later. All right. Make mine a double. Let's do this, boys. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> So you Native American? Yeah, my mom is. No kidding. That's perfect because that was usually passed down through the mother line, which is like, I mean, this is so crazy that that's the case. Um, and wait till you see these costumes. They're like, they're so beautiful. So. I cannot wait to see that. Do you like whiskey? I do. Cool. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Hey, can I get two shots of whiskey, please? Thanks so much. You can put on my tap. Hey. Kelly Klein, right? Hi, yeah. I'm Anne Liberato. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm a director. Okay. And I was thinking that you would be perfect for the lead role in my movie. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. what's it about? Okay, so it's an action horror film with strong female characters. A group of modern day witches. Is... Yeah, that's, 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 it sounds awesome, yeah. Why don't you get your own muse? Hi, Chad. Nice to see you, too. Nice to see you, too. So you're looking for an actress, right? Yeah, you want to be in my film? Yeah, sure. Well, cheers to that. Cheers. We'll see you later, Anne. Oh, uh, yes, you will. You, know, um, you can just send me the script. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. So let's talk about my character, Grace. Yeah, all right. So forget all this Native American stuff, right? The okay. thing about Grace is she's more free than the rest. And that, that's what makes her dangerous, right? They're all afraid of her independence. Uh, you know, she's more in touch with herself, her surroundings. And, and the women all hate her for it, right? But the men, you see, they all love her. <laughs> and, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to have her. But I think, um, you know what the most important part of Grace is? What's that? She's you. She's me. Nice. She's you. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's late. I gotta go to bed. Be up early. So and it's cold. No. Yes. <sighs> Good night, Chad. Good night. Hey. I'll see you on set. I'll see you on set. talking about this place being haunted. Ooh. Have you seen anything? Well, you never know. 
The other day, I was walking around the old Von Ness house, and I swear, someone was watching me. But when I looked, no one was there. Are you serious? Okay, Felix, with the sound effects. And last summer, I bartended a private event here. A couple of girls went wandering around by themselves, and one of them came back crying, claiming she saw a ghost. Her friend was missing. Are you serious? Yeah, she's messing with us. No, no, I'm just saying, you guys, watch out for yourselves. You think there could really be ghosts? Guys, there are no such thing as ghosts, okay? But after a couple more of these bad boys, we might start seeing all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably yeah. right. There are a lot of legends about this place. Like what? Well, apparently, the Von Ness film, one of the crew members became obsessed and started killing everyone. That's bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Bring it on, ghosts. I'm ready to be on. I'm ready to be on. I don't know. You really shouldn't make fun of them like that. You're kidding, right? The ghosts? Those were real people that died. What people? I think we need another round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. I need another double mark. Uno, uno mas. <laughs> okay, okay. Tequila all day. Tequila. I mixed it. This is not going to end up, well. Fifi. So, who's shooting today? Um, Chad is shooting his Emmeline remake, and Anne is shooting her witch movie, which sounds really lame, right? Honestly, between you and me, Anne's film puts me to sleep. But Chad, Chad's the real deal. Yeah. Feel free to help, Kyle. Oh, Ch Chad, Chad, I'm coming. To the guardians of the land we stand. Yes! Sacred fire to protect us. Moonlight to keep us awake. <laughs> oh my god. Holy <laughs> cut! Is everybody okay? Yeah. yeah. That was so scary. I'm sorry. We'll hey, can we just hurry up and go for another take, please? Yes, Lauren, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, you're doing a great job. Alright, I just need you to give me everything you got in this next take. We're gonna go for another one in five. Cool? Okay. Cool. All right. Um, that might not be possible. What do you mean it's just a light? All the batteries are dead, even the backups. Yeah, mine are too. It's weird. Can someone untie me from this tree? Seriously? What are we gonna do now? Uh, we can film a pickup in the early morning. Oh, great. So Chad can finish his film before mine? Great. Does this mean that we're wrapped? Yeah. Sweet. Look freezing. <laughs> Looks like you're Thank you. done for today. Hmm? Do you think someone really messed with the batteries? <laughs> no, she probably just forgot to charge them. I don't know. Maybe this place is haunted after all. <laughs> yeah. You really believe in that stuff, huh? Hey, go ahead and check out Chad's suit. Wanna come? Sure. Yeah. Awesome. What? You believe in? Hello? Can someone untie me from this tree? Hello? You look beautiful. Thank you, that's very sweet of you. Your work today, <laughs> your work today has been great. Natural. Good, it's good to hear because I'm trying my best and I'm trying to stay present, you know? It really shows, it really shows. Good. It's... Um, what? About the other night? Oh, don't worry about that. Look, I need you to focus on this, okay? Now let's talk about the final shot. Final shot, yeah. How do you feel? Well, you know, I kind of 
wish you told me about this before because it wasn't in the original script. I understand. And... I didn't tell you about the changes because I needed this sense of surprise and danger. And the fire will legitimize those stakes. I get that. I totally get that, but I'm not comfortable with it. Okay, well, I'm gonna make sure that everything is completely under control, okay? Great. Chad, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yes, I'm sure. I'm really afraid of fire and getting burned, and I mean, that stuff scares me, and I just want to make sure that everything is under control. Kelly, I'm a professional. Everything is under control, okay? What if I stand outside the cabin? Okay, uh... <laughs> I'm starting to feel like you're not really committed to this. Hey, listen. Listen to me. I get that you're afraid. All great art comes when you push the boundaries. Okay. Do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna come into the shack. You're gonna stand here, okay? The fire is gonna come in that wall. So just stay away from that wall. You'll be perfectly safe. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Let's just get this over with. Okay, great. All right. You're gonna be great. You just took off. Yeah, I think this is it. Hey, what are they shooting? Oh, uh, this is Chad's movie. Wait, are they burning the cabin with Kelly inside? It looks like it. Oh, I wonder, <laughs> I should, no. No, no, that's so fucked up. Are you serious? Do we even have people with experience for that in this camp? Yeah, it's all set up, okay? Chad's done this sort of thing before and Kelly's approach, she'll be fine. <sighs> no, this is messed up. Relax, I'm sure they have it under control. This isn't their first rodeo. Action! The women have been talking. Should I be listening to them, Silas? <gasps> oh my god. Silas! Silas! Oh. <coughs> There's too much smoke in here! They will find out. Emmeline, please, you need to see a doctor. You have to run. You have to go. 
What are you talking about? You should not be alone in the woods with that man. Leave now, Emmeline. Go. Grace, to whom were you speaking? No one, I was just, um... You weren't at Emmeline's judgment. I know. I, I, I couldn't bear to witness any of the, uh... It was hard, the smell alone. Nonsense. You know why she burned? I've heard stories. They're not stories. She seduced a married man. On the council, no less. Some women will do anything to be with child. Then she tried to blame it on our poor councilman. But she couldn't escape the judgment of God. You needn't worry, unless, of course, you have something to hide. The council brings justice. Speaking of, what is your business with John Warren? John Warren? Why? What do you mean? What is done in the dark will come to light. We shall see you soon, Grace. John, we cannot do this anymore. Silas, he's... Um, Does he know it? He's suspicious. And he's, um... I, I don't know. I, he's frightening me. Calm down. All will be well. Get off my wife! What disgrace have we come upon here? A woman willing to desecrate the sacred bonds of marriage. Silas, please, let us calm down. Enough. Silas, please, you must forgive me. Your wife, she came upon me here in the woods and started touching me. I, I tried to get away, but... That is not true. He's Enough. deceiving you, Silas! Enough! Silas, please, you must believe me. How would I betray my brethren? This temptress, this Eve, how could I refrain? Your sins will be accounted for. We will counsel. And her? <laughs> They'll kill you before sunrise. What? These men, they get these ideas. They want something, they take it. They tell others what they want to hear. A new kind of truth. John is lying, Emily! It matters not. It's what they say you have done. <laughs> the councilman told me his wife was in need of assistance. But when we got there, no one was home. He took advantage of my innocence. It's funny. <laughs> now I remember how he watched me. How his eyes always felt on me. They were heavy. They were focused. 
<laughs> like I was no. it. <laughs> They'll burn you because it Stop. makes them feel powerful. Stop. They'll kill you. They'll burn you alive. Stop me. women have been talking. Should I be listening to them, Silas? Everybody knows that last shot we just saw was of Kelly actually getting hurt. It wasn't acting. Uh, wait a minute. I actually, I, I had no idea that she was actually bullshit, in trouble. Chad. As soon as I realized what was happening, I stopped filming and we helped her. That's not what happened. She literally had to break through a window to get out, and you kept filming until she collapsed. She could have died. Hey, okay, that's too much. Never heard of carbon monoxide poisoning before? You shouldn't have kept that scene in your film, Chad. What happened on my set was uh, an accident, okay? I can't change that. I can't change the fact that it happened. I guess I felt like it would be worse if we ended up throwing the footage away because it would have ruined the film and I didn't want to see Kelly go through all that work and I didn't want her to have nothing to show for it. Are you insane? She should not have been that close to an actual fire. Did you even take a minute to think about the safety of your actor? Have you even apologized to her? Okay, I think nobody, nobody really wanted Kelly to get hurt. So I think we should just lay off Chad and discuss the movie. Of course not, no. None of us wanted to see Kelly get hurt. And if my actions offended anybody, I'm truly sorry. Um, I think we should all just relax. I mean, come on, he just showed his movie, it was great. Uh, you know, let's just go back to the bar, let's have the party, and have a good time, just relax, ease any tensions, um, just have a good time, you know? Follow up and sit and we'll head to the party, okay? Kelly, look, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Are you okay? I, um, I saw something. For what? I, uh, I saw, I saw um, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about this. I'm sorry. Let her go. She's been through a lot. She's probably just imagining things. I need to talk to her. I need a drink. What are you doing? 
Did you follow me? Um, no, I'm just making sure you're okay. You seemed upset back there. Are you supposed to be in here? <laughs> I'm fine. I just saw something in here the other night. Okay, um, Rose. How'd the screening go? Great, just great. It went wonderful. Can I please have a bourbon? A uh, one bourbon, neat. Thank you. Are you kidding me? About what? Do you have any empathy? Do you have any idea how fucking dangerous that was? was entirely an accident? And it just you he just let it happen. He did. He what kind of like what it's so unprofessional. It is so unprofessional. Or the bottle. The bottle's good. I like the bottle. The bottle's great. That bad, huh? Yep, just more. Hey, Rose. Um, I'm I'm sorry about earlier. You know, at the cabin, I just don't wanted mention. To... Well, well, no, I I just. Well, I don't want you to think that I'm, like, up in your business, or... It's fine. Will you excuse me for a second? Yeah. Hey. I just wanted to tell you that I thought it was really brave of you to stand up for Kelly like that. I'm sorry I didn't say more. I just... You said something. That's all that matters. You have my back. I appreciate it. Of course. Okay? I'm on that side of the camera, too. Could have been any of us. Are you okay? Hi, everyone. Hey. Hey, great party, right? All right. Uh, can I have everyone's attention, please? All right, so we're going to be moving into the screening room for a little bit of a surprise. Um, Kyle there will lead you into, uh, and I'll be there in a second. But um, all right, I'll meet you guys in there, OK? All right, let's go. Come on. What's going on? Did you film something? No idea. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, so, we've been here for about a week, right? Um, so I think uh, we're like a, a family now. Um, so, what I want to show you guys is whatever survived of the behind the scenes footage of my father's last film. Um, so I know you guys have heard all the rumors, um, and whether they be good or bad, let's, let's see what happens. Uh, here's some behind the scenes footage of The Devil's Fire. There's a darkness about the character. Something that's both good and evil. She's someone you must feel rather than see to understand. What are you writing? Hey, I've just moments, things I want to remember. It's kind of like my little way of checking in with myself. Is there anyone here tonight? Start walking. Keep going, just walk straight past them. Cut. Get rid of that dress. I'm one of you. Norman, what's wrong with this dress? It's not the right dress. When you come in and you guys do the- Acting just kind of saved my life. If it weren't for acting, I'd, I'd probably be dead. This is so stupid. Shh. Go ahead. Is there anybody here? <laughs> Is that you? Seventeen oh one, what does that mean? Is that the year you died? Um <laughs> 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 
Ew. Ew. That's not funny. Did that actually Ugh. scare you? <laughs> Leave her alone. This place has a pretty dark history that dates back to the 1700s, and that's why I chose this location, because nothing is quite as terrifying as reality. Come on, Norman, you're freaking them out. I'm not freaked out. I don't believe in fairy tales. I'm not scared. I just don't think we should be playing this game. I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go again. Have you ever done anything like this before? I'm sorry, that's a bitchy question. I'm just stressed out. I don't have enough for me. I closed for the remainder of the shoot. I I'm just... You're stressed out? I'm stressed out. Norman wants to know when you'll be ready for his fitting. He's waiting. Help. I'll try and talk about it, okay? I'm worried about you. Norman's pushing you too hard. I'm fine. I'm fine. He just wants me to be a big star, right? Look, talk to me. There's nothing to talk about. What's going on in there? I'm fine. Okay, Amy, can you? Hey, babe, are you all right? Amy! Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Come here. Why are you not wearing shoes? What's going on? Crawley? Crawley, come on. Come on, look. I, I, I know, I, I've been hard on you, but it's only because I believe in you. Carly, we really don't have time for this shit. Come on, oh, come on, let's go, come on! How was it like working with Norman? <laughs> uh, Norman's just a perfectionist. Um, I can't fault him for that, you know? It's, he expects us to give as much of ourselves as he does. Norman, where do you want to start? We'll pick up where we left off. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm only doing this because I really believe in this film. It's gonna be fine. Look quick, it's gonna be fine. Come on. Can you guys hit her up, please? Get out of here, control, okay? Jacob, call it. All right, quiet on set. Everyone go to your marks. Roll south. Sound speeds. Scene five Delta, take one. Roll on camera. Mark it. Action. Mommy, mommy, please don't. Mommy. Fortunately, we can't go back and change things. 
All we can do now is move forward. I mean, we could either throw away all this footage, with it throw away Carly's life's work, or pull ourselves together and just finish the last couple of scenes we have left. No, that is what Carly would want. This is your I fucking fault. Too. You pushed her too hard. Fine. Fine. Let's call it. Let's call it a wrap. Let's call the cops. Let's just go bury Carly forever. That's exactly what's gonna happen if we don't finish. What I'm suggesting is we immortalize, we have her live forever through this film. I say we finish. I agree. <laughs> it's crazy. Carly's dead. Do you get that? It's crazy. But fuck you, Norman. You are an asshole. Carly, let's do it. Your father kept filming? I'm sorry? Your father kept shooting after Carly died? As you saw in the film, the cast and crew had a lot of big decisions to make. Fuck you, your father was a fucking murderer. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for sharing this with me, guys. Hey, Rose. Hey. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, Rose. No one's ever seen this before. No, I don't even saying. know. It was incredible. I just watched the death of one of the most inspiring actresses in history, and the director wanted to keep filming. You call that incredible? I call it murder. Okay, well, I get it. it's heavy stuff. Rosemary, come on! Rosemary! Can somebody tell me what he was possibly trying to accomplish by showing us that right now? I wish I could. It was fucking yeah. traumatic. What the fuck are we even doing here? Guys, we came here to make a few fun horror films. And instead now, we were forced to watch Peter gloat over lost footage of his father's dead actors? Seriously, that's disgusting. Peter didn't see it that way. Of course he didn't see it that way. What sort of a decent human being would watch that and think that it's worth sharing? Let alone with all of us, right here, where it happened. For what? Tell me, for what? I don't want us what? to do our work that Fuck that, it's not worth it. I sacrificed a lot to be here. I'm gonna stay. You have a film to finish. He has no respect! He has no respect for any of us! He would not have shown that to us if he had some respect. I'm getting the fuck out of here. We all should. She's right. So what was that all about? I, I think you should go apologize. No. No, why the fuck should I apologize? What the fuck did I do? She walked down on me. That was some unprofessional. Why would she do that? You know, I guess some people can't handle that kind of thing. Peter, where did you get that footage? It's insane. That's the fucking point right now. Peter, listen, I think the best thing is for all of us to just stay on the same page. 
Just apologize. If she's gonna fucking talk to me and insult me and walk out on me for something bullshit like that, I'm trying to fucking show you guys a piece of my heart. So and she's gonna insult me and walk out because it's it, like it's in, an, an imperfectional little bitch. Yeah, you know how some girls get. Just go say something. Okay. Now where's she? Let's go. Come on. Let's Hey, where do you think you're going? Yeah, you're right, and I don't plan on dying here. Carly didn't plan on dying here either. Heads up, dude. Hey, guys. I want to talk about what happened in there. I just want to apologize. Look, do you? I mean it. I really, I should have said something. I should have mentioned it. I should have warned you. If I knew you guys wouldn't be able to handle it, I would have changed. Handle it? What the fuck hey, is wrong hey. with you, Peter? Your father watched Carly die and wanted to keep filming? That's sick. Okay. Well, hey, his dad died that day too, all right? Yeah, and so we're all really sorry. Yeah, we all had to, we yeah. needed to watch it. We all saw it. That means a lot to him. Hey, 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 hey! gonna do that. You gonna walk? <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. Figure it out first thing in the morning. Hello? Is anybody here? I saw her just before the accident. Wait, you saw what? A ghost? Yes. And I think she wants to speak to us. Wait, 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 Kelly Rose. What did you see? Hang on. Kelly, you really saw her? Mm-hmm. Do you remember where you were when you saw her? Can you take us there? What? When? Right now. Go ahead, Rosemary. We're gonna follow right behind you, okay? We'll be right there. Tell us where we're going, Rosemary. To the woods. And what are we gonna find? Carly Sky. This is Rosemary. She's an actor at our film festival. She just saw a ghost in the woods and she's taking all of us to the place where she just saw her about 15 minutes ago. Tell us what she looked like. Give us details. Was her skin peeling off? Stop. 
Okay, I'll stop asking. No, stop filming. Is something wrong, Rosemary? I'm sorry, but this isn't just a movie to me, okay? I really saw Carly. This is about reality. Chad did this over-the-top short where he was trying to push boundaries, and his actor got hurt for real. Peter's father, he did the exact same thing. I'm not a character, okay? I'm not acting. Right. And everybody else will see that. This is who you really are. Look at Kelly. You owe this to her so that everybody else will believe her too. Come on, Rose. Come on, let's, let's go get this bitch on film. Just go without me. No, we need you. Carly chose you. it in the closet at the party. I think it's the one from Peter's behind the scenes. Just put it away, okay? Come on. You know, Peter is probably behind all this. He's probably just doing this to scare you guys. It's real. It's Carly. And Rose saw her, too. Rosemary, you said this is where you saw her, so just go in, now. She's not gonna jump out and grab you. Rosemary? Oh my God, there you are, Jesus. Hey, hey. Are you done ruining you my okay? shot yet, Simon? Anne, oh my God. So wait, is this like a real Blair Witch? Is that the premise? Simon, not now. <sighs> Have you found anything yet? Anne? No comment. What was that? I don't know. I think they said something about screaming. Hey, guys! Do you see the ghost? Come on, Rosemary, let's go. Come on. Ugh, let go! I'm not going with you, and this time I mean it. Rosemary, we don't have time for this. Look, just go, all right? They're screaming. If you really think there's a ghost, then you should probably go check that out. If. Yes, if. You don't even believe I saw Carly. You're just using me for your fucking film. That. Just like Chad used Kelly. That is not true. Yes, it is. Fine. I'll go by myself. Just stay right here. Guys! Guys! Oh my God. Hey, hold up. Listen, so I am making a behind the scenes film. Do you want to help out? Rosemary, what are you thinking? Nothing. Oh, my name is Rosemary and I do not tell Simon what I think because I like to be very, very mysterious and... Oh my God, I think that's the house from the Von Ness film. I bet we can film inside. We can probably break in, right? Let's go. You go. What, are you scared? I just need a minute alone. Come on, if you're not scared, let's- Just one fucking minute alone! Okay, Jesus. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be over here. Oh my God, Jesus. Hey. What the fuck was that? Hey, come back. Oh my God.
Rose, where were you? We were looking for you last night. Rose? Yeah, I went back to the Von Ness house looking for you guys, but you weren't there. Are, are you okay? What? Rose, were you with Simon last night? Are you okay? Seriously. Come inside, okay? Are these rewrites? Have you seen Evil Dead, the original Evil Dead? No. All right, well, just, it's just, look, it's just gonna be a lot of camera movement and Gore, okay? Is there a reason why I'm getting a spike-filled mask hammered to my face? I don't know. Just ask Simon when he gets here, okay? It's his film. Well, at least I don't die first. <sighs> Chad, he still isn't shown? No. He's not in his room. I, his bed's made up and it doesn't look slept in. Really? Oh, my God. Chad, oh. So Simon is a no-show. Are you still going to shoot? On, let's just shoot this fucker. I'm ready to get on yeah, screen and kill these girls. Let's do it, please. We're gonna lose our daylight hours soon if we don't move. We gotta move, Trev. What do you wanna do? We all doing with our thumbs up our asses. Nice to see you too, Ann. <laughs> hey, you, you haven't seen Simon, have you? Not since he was wandering around last night sabotaging my shots. Why? We can't find him. Well, when you do, tell me he's an asshole. Why? He'll know why. Where were you guys last night? Von Ness house. Pretty creepy. Don't go there alone. Oh, Great, so what are you gonna do? Come on. Let's just shoot without him. We got him. Yes. Yes. No, I, I promised him he could direct his script. Dude, are you serious right now? Really? It's ridiculous, it's unprofessional. He's in here? One way to find out. Simon! Something. Shit, it's camera. Jack, let's see. see if we can get this. Ah. Uh. Oh, man. Who was that? I didn't know he was into some art house shit. Not funny, man. No, it's pretty real, man. Is there a wand? I don't know, man. Something doesn't feel right. I'm gonna see if I can check inside that house. Oh, come on. There's literally no way something bad happened to him. Simon! Look, man, I gotta call the cops. No, no, it's not gonna be police. I don't care, Trevor. I gotta call the police. Trevor. Trevor. Simon! Trevor, come out, Simon! 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 Look, I know it doesn't show much, but it, it's safe to say that this is a Simon's been gone since last night. I know something's happened to him. We, we've been looking for him all day, and, you know... And this was intended to be a horror film? Mrs. Riley. Detective Riley. Detective Riley. Look, I was just as skeptical as you, but if you go back and look at the footage, clearly someone's there. Okay? We've been looking for him all day. I'm just saying that that person in that footage knows something. We just think it sort of looks like Rosemary, one of the actresses here. She was filming with Anne last night, so it could have been her. Okay, who's Anne? 
She's one of our film directors. So Simon was off filming with Anne last night? That's what she said to us this morning. So Simon's out making horror films, and you guys think he's missing? Mm -hmm. Are you sure he's not having a little fun at your expense right now? Okay. While my partner's out searching the grounds, I'll need a full description of Simon. Age, height, weight, tattoos, birthmarks. And where can I find Anna Rosemary? Did you make this? No. God, no. Are you sure? I wouldn't make anything like this. Did you find anything? No, nothing. When was the last time you saw Simon? When he ran off. Do you know where he ran off to or who he was with? No. You guys don't think that I have anything to do with his disappearance, do you? That's crazy. Okay, well, if anyone finds any information about this video, don't hesitate to call. What about Rosemary? Right, uh, who's Rosemary? Do you know anything about this? What were your whereabouts last night? I was with him when we were shooting, but I lost track of him. I mean, look just like her. It could have been any of us. Sheila looks like me. Maybe it was her. Oh, so you're blaming me now? Easy. If he doesn't show up by tomorrow, we'll mobilize a search unit and bring in forensics. Tomorrow? What are we supposed to do now? Let us do our jobs. And if you guys find anything, if anything changes, give us a call. So I have to know, did people actually die here or what? Sheila. I wouldn't worry yourself about the past. But I will say that you picked a hell of a place to shoot horror films. I swear, Rosemary has to have something to do with it. So we're gonna do something or what? Honestly, I think we should just wait for the police, guys. No, we get it on film and we make it a movie. Amber might as well skin me and wear me. All the girls on your set are wearing my outfit. Hey, I've been looking all over for you. What are you guys up to? <sighs> we're just drinking some beer, Sheila, going over a shot list for Trevor Short. Oh, I wanna be in it. Trevor? Maybe. 
That would be so awesome. The last two I was in were meh. <laughs> Whatever, Sheila. <laughs> were you in Anne's film last night? Oh, God, yes. Hot mess. What about Simon? Are you fucking kidding me? So she's playing the victim. I don't know. All I know is she's a fucking weirdo. I think, I think we should shoot it. Yeah. No, I, I don't know, guys. I, I don't think it's a good idea. Do what? Hey, Sheila, you want to help us make this movie? I'll get more than three lines, right? Yes. <laughs> what do you say, boys? I'm out. I got my screening. Have fun watching me. Oh, I will. Let's make a film. <laughs> Children always deserve a second chance. What the fuck do you guys want? Help him. No, no, please. Just no, tell us please. what you know and we will let no. you go. Talk. Confess. I'll do what you want, okay? Just let me go. Shh, 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 shh. Don't be frightened. You'll now be closer with God. Confess, Rose. What? This is about Simon? Oh my god. What the fuck? Look, look, I didn't do anything, okay? I have no idea where he is. You have to believe me, okay? Look, all I remember was we were shooting in the woods, but it was dark, okay? I lost track of him. I didn't do anything to what? him. What? Get the letter from Sheila, get the lighter no, fluid. No, Sheila, please, no. No, Sheila. No. God damn it, Sheila! No. Come on, let's talk to her. Sheila! It's just you and me. You can tell me where my brother is. Let me go, and I'll do what you want. I'll show you. No! Tell me where he is! Untie me and I'll show you. Fine. Do it.
for Peter. I think something's wrong. I saw some guys hurting Rosemary. Okay, what do you mean, like a film? No, like kind of. I don't know. Okay, okay. I will. I'll be right back. Chris and Hugs didn't hear the casting crew today. Hey. Peter, thank God. I I, I I think some guys are hurting Rosemary. We have to call the police. Oh, no. We were just trying to scare her for a film. We were making a movie. Is, is you guys she's talking about? We have to go. Just, no, they were hurting her, I swear. Look, we'll, we'll show you. We'll, we'll, we'd be happy to show you. Okay? I swear they were hurting her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay? Yeah, let's go. Oh, relax. Right up here. Sorry. I think it's through here. Let's watch out. Oh my god! Oh, oh shit! My oh my god! Oh my god! Shit. Oh. 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 Simon? Jesus. Was this Simon? Help me. Simon? He's not breathing. We have no. to get the hell no. out of here! No, 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 okay, whoever did this is still out there. You need to stay here. <laughs> his Von Ness carved into his chest. Right here. Why? I Why? Don't I don't know! Uh, I don't know. Trevor? Where's Trevor? Let's go! Let's go! Trevor! We need to find Trevor. He's, I think he's in trouble. Trevor! We can't, we can't just leave him here. He's dead! Trev! Hey, Trevor! <laughs> Come on! Trevor! 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 Hey, Trev! Trevor! 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 We need to call the police! We need hey, to call Sheila. the police! Sheila! What happened? Who did Fuck. this to you? Trevor. Trevor. He said Rosemary. He said Rosemary. We left him with Rosemary. She must have done this. We need to find Rosemary. What? We need to find Rosemary. What? What? What is going on? We gotta find him right now. Sheila, she was so excited about that screening of Felix's slasher film. Girl, she's probably out stalking Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I second that. All right, well, bye, ladies. Bye. bye. Enjoy.
hope she's okay. They're gonna start any minute now. This festival is fun and everything, but I am so bored of screaming and getting killed. <laughs> I will scream and cry and die all day long. I just want some screen time. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay. Ooh, a challenge. <laughs> 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 Last little bit there. Oscar worthy. Thank you. Yeah. I was on set with her yesterday and it was so funny because she was supposed to die. And when Ryan went to kill her, she seriously went like this. But that girl does not know how to scream. Poor act. Guys, come on. Don't be so hard on her. Okay, um, fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> yes. Chad with no teeth. Um, <laughs> Felix, but he talks the whole time. <laughs> and or Simon, and he's Ooh. filming it with like he has like a GoPro on his Joe on Simon. <laughs> 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 to a steak. Hear our plea, for we must cast this evil spirit that dwells within this woman out and burn it out of her flesh. In the name of the poor and the sacred, in the name of the brothers that came before us, Peter, what are you talking about? I think those are the lines from his dad's movie. I present to you a temptress. Sheila. She was there too. What? Sheila? What? Why would they do that? They think I killed Simon. What? Oh. That's insane. Why? What happened? What are The guys I... have fucking lost it, okay? Clearly. Peter's convinced that Simon's dead and that I killed him. What? Oh okay, oh, no. Sweet. We've just been filming a bunch of violent shit and we're yeah. in this weird ass fucking place. Yeah. Yeah. Simon can't be dead and no one's coming after you. Yeah. Yeah, we know these guys, they're soft. I don't think they would do anything like that. Yeah, I mean, does anybody know for a fact that Simon's dead? No. I mean, it. to me, this just sounds like a really fucked up joke, yeah. guys. Yeah. Look, yeah. all I know guys. is that they fucking cornered me in the woods, put a sack over my body, and tied me to a cross. What? And Ryan was there too, okay? He filmed it. Okay, okay. He it's made insane. A, okay, he made a shitty movie, okay? He's just trying to scare you. You're safe here. 
We are all safe here. Okay? Yeah. I don't think so. Please, don't hurt me! <laughs> Slow down. What? She just died. There's a dead person everywhere. Who? Who? It was Sheila. Sheila just fucking burnt. Wait, 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 wait. Who? 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 It was Sheila. It was Sheila. She's fucking dead. Wait, what the? The fuck just happened out there? She burst to the fucking screen and dropped dead. Her skin was bubbling. What are you? Where is everybody? Stay calm, stay calm. They, they all fucking ran. They the, saw a dead where body. The, where the fuck like, do you mean they ran? We got out of there. There's a dead everybody body. Left, man. The where? Let, me, let me know what you need me to do. You go you find everybody. Body. Okay. You go find everybody I'll and bring them into the fucking cabin, cabin okay? Gotcha. gotcha. All right, man. All right. Guys, come on. Come on. Go. Follow me. Okay. Come on. Yeah, come on, guys. I got you. I thought it was Rosemary. What the fuck? I, th I thought it was Rosemary. We need to find Rosemary, and this ends, okay? Find Rosemary. Go to the cabins and find her. Fucking find her. Fucking find her. What do we do? Either us or them.
Rosemary, I need to talk to you right now. Stay away. You don't know who you're dealing with. This psychopath killed Trevor. <sighs> Trevor is dead, and she killed him. Leave him. He tortured me. That's bullshit. We need to stop this before she hurts anybody else. He's just manipulating me. And don't listen to him. He's trying to kill him. Ryan. He tried to kill me. Ryan, I found her. Ryan! It was either him or me. What the fuck did you do, him? What did you do, you stupid bitch? Rosemary, run! Run! Stay out of this. Peter was right. You're behind this. It was you. It was you. It was you! this to end now. Where are you going, chap? What took you so long? Had some loose ends I needed to tie up. Now, Chad, 
Don't try to run. If you do, I'll hurt you. Mm -hmm. You'll never take me alive, witch. <laughs> <laughs> This is for Carly. Only because you wanted to be like some shitty actress. I'm gonna count to three. 